Composition of ceramic material, barium titanate, is an aggregation composed of microcrystals from 1 to 20 millimeters in diameter. Each of these microcrystals is called a particle. Each such particle is divided into many domains at temperatures below the Curie point. Crystal axes are aligned in one direction within a domain. When heated to the Curie point they, and above, the crystal structure of barium titanate is changed from rectangular to cubic. The spontaneous polarization and domain walls disappear. When barium titanate is cooled, its crystal structure turns from cubic to rectangular. Segments along C axis and along other axis are reduced to about 1%. Then spontaneous polarization and domain walls reappear. At the same time, particles are distorted from external effects. At this stage, a lot of small domain walls are generated, and direction of spontaneous polarization in each domain is easy to change, even with small electric fields. Some dielectric constant is proportional to the sum of inversion of spontaneous polarization with respect to volume unit. Increase in capacity occurs. When capacitors are stored or used without lodging the temperatures below the Curie point, size of randomly oriented domains becomes larger, and they gradually shift to stable energy state. It also facilitates collection of residual stress at crystal distortion. In addition, movement of spatial charges within domain wall leads to polarization of spatial charge. This polarization of spatial charge adversely affects spontaneous polarization, preventing its inversion. In other words, temporary transition from generation of spontaneous polarization to inversion is hindered by the current of spatial charge polarization. In this state, higher electric field is necessary to completely reverse spontaneous polarization in domains, which in turn can be completely reversed by decreasing electric field and reduce capacity. This is the mechanism of ceramics aging. However, microtexture of crystalline grid returns to its original state when heated to temperature above the creek point and aging of the grid starts again.